Yes, welcome back live outside Albertson Stadium. Jay Tess alongside Morgan Romero. Morgan, kind of crazy. This is my 10th Seven Cares Day. Oh, my God. It, is kind it of, really? Yeah, kind of a lot. You haven't been here for every one, have you? Uh, well, there was the two, like, last year and the year before yeah. that, uh, that I obviously couldn't be a part of because, well, it was just different. Yeah. Um, but this is my 10th, and I have a little bit of an experience doing this, right? Yeah, just a little. And, hey, the, the positive energy and the caring and the giving keeps you going all morning long, but we only have 30 minutes left, right? Yeah, we do. And so it really helps sometimes to have that last, like, little boost, push, right? Push, little push. And I, I just don't know who could provide that for us this year. Okay, I do. You do? I saw someone earlier. Okay. I saw him walking around, kind of like lurking. Okay. And I was like, I feel like you want to be involved. Like, I feel like you, you're like trying really hard <laughs> to be here. And and then I just, you know what? I said, Mark Johnson, you know what? You just, you just join us then, Mark. He was hanging out, waiting for the invite. And I said, you know what, Mark? You don't need to go stand in the corner of University Drive. You can just come join us for seven care. Oh, uh, you guys, this is fantastic. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I uh, it would I gotta, not be the same without you. I, I gotta give Jay a little <laughs> little loving too. You guys, um, I've been watching this morning. My wife and I, Chrissy, flew in uh, from our Mexico vacation last night because we did not want to miss today. This is the 15th year of Seven Cares Idaho mm -hmm. Shares. You can hear Mike in the background. He's been here for the last 10 years, and it. It was 15 years ago today that I was involved in the very first one at 5407 Fairview Avenue. And it was a little thing that we thought would be really good to raise 40000 Yeah. And we did. And two years ago, Tommy Alquist said, why can't we raise a million? And oh. we are really close to doing that. So there was no way I was going to miss this today. No, no. And Mark, you honestly... From my opinion, because you are my idol, and I have, no, I really have admired you for so many years, and as a as a kid growing up in the Treasure Valley and looking to you as kind of that staple and that figure in Idaho, to me, you represent Seven Cares, but we also have a friend that also represents Seven Cares. You know, that first year, Larry Gebert uh, said, I'll go to Twin Falls. I'll show up at the station at 3 o'clock in the morning, with the satellite truck, and Jay spent a few hours <laughs> in the satellite truck in the last 10 years, and you know what that trip yeah. is like. And every year for the last 14 years, this is the first year that our buddy is not here, but he's here in spirit. And I can tell all you folks in the Magic Valley, I know you're loving the gang that, the gang that we have there for you. Um, those guys are friends of yours and your friends of them but I know we all miss Larry and I'm thinking about him today because this was something that was really really near and dear to his heart he was so good at it too yeah. he was I mean, he was he was made for stuff like this <laughs> it's was. a huge responsibility to carry on this tradition in honor of him in honor of people like yeah. you as well Mark yeah. um, Morgan said that you were her idol I, I will never admit that about you on live TV no. um, in private maybe no. but, but we do appreciate you cutting the cutting your vacation yeah. a little short how's, and the how, hair cutting the hair yeah, right exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how's retirement treating you and um, part of this day is about bringing family back together so it's good to see the family getting back together it was it was great and it's great uh, this is my home, as all of you watching know. Channel 7 is my family, is my home. I would always be true to my family, and tonight and today is no different. But I was asked when I showed up today by the guys in the production truck, did you bring your earpiece <laughs> so you can hear us? And I said, no, no, I don't have an earpiece, and I no longer have makeup. I Yay. gave it to Jay, and he refuses to wear it, which is pretty obvious. It's a I fun think. fact about TV, men do yeah. have to wear makeup. You, you know how this goes. I got to get on to the next interview, but I, I wanted to come over, rip, rip you a little bit there, and just remind Morgan, uh, we took the mic away from him last December never... 23rd. Do not no. give him the <laughs> it's mic. It's like a magnet. <laughs> it, look at it. It's like a magnet. It just feels natural. It just feels natural. Um, ladies oh and gentlemen, gosh. it's time to go now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was awesome, Mark. We love to have you. We are going to end this show with a classic Mark Johnson. It's our tradition. It's our tradition. I don't even want to tell them what it is, Mark. They just oh, have to tune into the end of the show. You know. You know, if you've yeah. been watching.